will be launching and diving off of kayaks at Stillwater South. This is one of the most protected areas in all of Monterey. This is a great spot for beginner spirals and for experienced spirals as well. This place is home of Pebble Beach Golf Course, so overlooking your launch location, there's actually a really, really beautiful, beautiful golf course there. Also, it's famous because of the 17 mile drive where you just have nothing but extremely vibrant views of kelp forests and just all around wildlife. Um, the viz can be anywhere from your normal 10 feet to 40, 50, if I've actually experienced areas where there's 70 feet of viz. So today we're gonna hit a couple areas, uh, do some hole hunting. We're gonna hunt sustainably, which means we're only gonna take what we're trying to get before dinner for that night. So there's a big misconception out there for spear fishing to where we just feel like shooting anything and everything that we wanna shoot. But that's just a myth. Majority of spearrows in the water hunt sustainably. There's limited bycatch whatsoever when it comes to spear fishing, just because of the fact that you're actually looking at what you're trying to aim for. Also, you don't take the species that you're not necessarily targeting. I mean, today we're gonna be targeting lingcod, camazon, or monkey face eel. So th those are the three. I'm 100% sure we're gonna see a lot of rockfish in the water, but we're not gonna take those today. So lings, cabs or monkey face eel. If we get one of those fish, we're set for the day. So we're gonna continue on to the footage in the video to show how we actually hole hunt here in Northern California. With everything all geared up and ready to go, I started paddling out to our dive location. There's a bunch of different spots all throughout the still water area to dive from the shallows to the deep. There's all sorts of structure everywhere. That's one of the most interesting areas around this place. You can dive anywhere and you'll find great structure. So as I started diving down to some of the spots that we're hitting and looking around and looking in the holes, you gotta make sure you have a really good flashlight. So right now I'm using a Princeton 5 flashlight and you can see in the holes that it lights it up extremely well. Uh, it has a lot of great depth and it's about 550 lumens. So looking around, looking around, I definitely see rockfish. There's rock crabs in there. I see black and yellow rockfish, kelp, kelpies, a lot of kelpies everywhere. But that's not the target species that we're looking for. So with multiple dives in different locations and looking around, still not able to find a lingcod, a monkey face eel, or a cabazon, we just keep hole hunting and just keep looking at different holes and looking at, it seems like the, the holes that are actually on the bottom of the huge pinnacles are where the big fish hang out. As you can see with the underwater topography, it's really really beautiful lots of vibrant colors a lot of the purple urchins actually that are pretty invasive to our california kelp forest right now but um, that'll be a different subject for another video but as we continue hole hunting i found a really good spot where there was a lot of structure and a lot of life and this cabazon swam right in front of my face and the camera actually cut it off but there's a link cod I initially saw the wing cod first and the cabazon swam past me so I actually took the bigger fish which was a cab which will make an extremely nice meal later on that night. So we ended up the day, started paddling back in and just enjoyed the beautiful scenery of the Pebble Beach Golf Course and it was just a great day. We're going to have a good meal to eat. And I would just like to thank the underwater cameraman, Clayton Fisher, which his Instagram is at Clayton Fisher, and Northbound Films for all the drone footage that they put up. And their website is northboundfilms.com. So if you really enjoy this video, hit the like, comment, subscribe button, and stay tuned for other episodes of Spear Fishing Sustainably.